Oh, oh crap. It's Thursday. It is Thursday and <laughs> I was caught off guard. Why? Well, sometimes I make mistakes and sometimes I fail to do things correctly, but you know what? I'm not gonna give up and run away. I'm gonna do some headlines right off the iPad here. And you know what is really cool? You gotta check this out on YouTube. The Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer, the official trailer has finally been released. You've probably seen it, but if you haven't, go check it out. Really, really cool. Throwback to the old school. Definitely some new school stuff. Great storyline, looks like. I think this is gonna be great. I'm excited for the holidays. This comes out in Thanksgiving time-ish. So that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, I didn't have anything to throw. Gotta throw something every once in a while. Okay, so this is a really weird headline and uh, this is proof that the news media just wants to scare the crap out of you so you should stop listening to this news media. Just pay attention to me and what we're doing, of course. But the headline is Cicada, Cicada, you know, the bugs that came out of the woodwork. Cicada killer wasps have arrived. Don't confuse them with murder hornets. Every year we get a new story of a new bug that's a killer. Now we have the infestation still going on on the east coast of the cicada. Now there's a killer bee version of the cicada. It's like, come on people, really? I believe this to be true that this type of bug exists. I don't necessarily know that it's something we need to write news articles about and seem to freak out about. Moving right along. Oh yeah, that's right. Gotta throw something. Move along. And in more movie news, I should have done this tomorrow on Friday, but that's okay. It just came out. So uh, here's the headline. The headline is new Predator movie will be a prequel with female lead. Might be PG-13. It's gonna suck if it's PG-13. I'm cool with the female lead. That's awesome. I don't, <laughs> that part is no never mind to me, but the PG-13, you're gonna cross the line here, folks with the movie making. The first one was R, not because we had to have swear words or nudity or anything like that. It's because that intensity requires aggressiveness. And to make that creature really scary, you gotta go for the R, man, and the storyline. Anyway, that will be cool, even if it's PG-13, but look for that in the future. That is it for headlines for today on Thursday. All right, guys, so it is Thursday. We've been talking about dealing with Failure, rebounding from failure. Yes, rebounding from failure, so, so important because failure is such a powerful lesson and motivator if channeled right, because failure teaches us. If I trip over a cord on the floor, I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna remember that there's a cord on the floor and try not to trip on it again. Failure can be a great teacher. If I am studying math and I do something wrong, I get a problem wrong, I go and learn how to do it right, and then I'm always doing it right, failure taught me how to do it right. Failure taught me how to do it right. Very important failure is, as Yoda would say. So don't think of your failures as a negative thing. It's uncomfortable in the moment, but honestly, the failure in the moment can be uncomfortable and that's okay. Let that subside and then focus on what you learn from it and what you can do differently next time. Sometimes there is no next time. Sometimes, you know, you trip over the thing and there's people watching and you look goofy, but you're not gonna come back to that spot. So learning about it, it really isn't, there's nothing to learn other than try and be more conscientious of your surroundings and where you're walking. But beyond that, don't let failure weigh you down. Learn from it and let the pain go, let the discomfort go. Focus on the positive, what you learn from it and what you can do with it later. Harness that power, that is great personal power. Hey, I went to this place and they said, sorry dude, we don't serve your kind here or something like that. You know what? I'm gonna go advocate for myself. I failed to get into that place because someone is a horrible person. I'm gonna go and not experience that again by advocating for myself in an, in an, in an appropriate way. All right, so enough blabbity blabbity from me, although it's good blabbity blabbity because if you use it, it'll help you out in the long run. Let's check in and see what the national day is today. Good morning, everybody. It's 
Thursday down the hill day. Yes, Thursday. And it is July the 29th. And today's National Day. It's quite interesting because I just purchased this can that I'm going to show you. But the National Day is National Chili Dog Day. Oh, everybody loves a good chili dog, right? Mm, I like a good chili cheese dog. But I was in the old Safeway the other day. And, you know, I got a little app on my phone. And sometimes I get freebies or I get really good coupons. And one of my freebies was this can of chili. It's Coney Island style chili. So I thought, hmm, I'll, yeah, I'll give it a try. I like to keep a can or two just in case for these things. And we decide, ooh, we need chili dogs. So I picked it up. And see, and it says, Fire by the Coney Island. And it is a chili, cheese dog chili. So it's got cheese in it too. So, what are we having for dinner tonight? Well, <laughs> we're having chili cheese dogs, that's for sure. And chili cheese fries to go with it. You know, don't want the fries to feel left out. Oh, I can already taste it. A little bit of onions on it too. Oh, a really good chili cheese dog. It's good stuff. I, uh, we had what we called Coney Island chili dogs in Fresno. It was downtown. This old, old building that had been there forever. And it was, yeah, that's where you went to go get the best chili dog in town. And it, you had to go downtown for it. And sometimes you wait in line for a really long time. That brings back good memories. They were really good chili dogs. I don't know if they still exist there. I'm gonna have to look it up next time I go. Man, oh man, that was a really good chili dog. Oh well, I'm gonna try this tonight. I'll let you know if they were any good or if this chili was worth the per. I got it free, so it don't matter, right? But everybody else have a great day and have a chili dog today on National Chili Dog Day. Ugh, there she goes again. First, she gotta say the. I think it's a coffee milk shake day, and then it's a water park day, and now a chili dog day. Another thing Bobo can have. Are you kidding me? If I ask the Carl man, hey, you want to make a chili dog? You know what he'll do? I am not eating that, let me tell you. But Bobo can say, hey, Carl man. Heard there's a good kid, chili dog joint down the street, you want to go? I don't know, they're risky. Very risky. Oh, Bob's hair stuck in shirt. Oh, so hot. Maybe I don't want chili dog. Oh, look at this hair. Oh my gosh. So hot. Bobo hair a mess. Well, Bobo typically a mess, but not this bad. Whoa. Chili dog day, chili dog day, chili dog day, chili dog day. Stay out here in the hot trailer. Ooh, chili dogs. Yeah, I like me a good chili dog. I just should not make the chili unless it comes out of a can. That's okay. Let's go back in the past with Zach. Well, 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 everybody, it is Thursday the 29th. We are now officially one day from the weekend, but we've got to get through this marvelous day, Thursday the 29th. So let's go back in the beauty path with Zach. So, the, uh, on this day in history, in 1775, founding the U.S. Army Judge Advocates General Corps, General George Washington appoints William Tudor as Judge Advocate of the Continental Army. I don't really even know what all that means, but basically they're getting ready to go to war, so they're putting, putting their ducks in a row, getting ready to fight off one of the uh, biggest empires around during that time. Possibly the largest, actually. Well, them and France are kind of finding out to find out, but 
Um, also, American Civil War, Confederate spy Belle Boyd. Um, she is arrested by Union troops and detained at Old Capitol Prison in Washington, D.C. Uh, yeah, there were spies in the Civil War. There were a lot of spies uh, from the South who sympathized, and they lived in the North, and they would get information. Belle Boyd was a, quite a good one. She would uh, hook up with uh, officers and get information. Even when she was in the Old Capitol Prison, she would still get information and throw it out of the the building to spies. This lady was just, uh, she, she believes in that South, let me tell you that. The Connecticut Railroad, 1871, this Connecticut Valley Road opens between Old Saybrook, Connecticut, and Hartford, Connecticut in the United States. Railroads are uh, important during the time. Um, it really was connecting town to town. It was the fastest route. Um, we got away from the canal traveling, you know, ferry boats, things like that. And we still had our steamboats and things, but definitely became, uh, it was just, it was just, it was the best way to move product, especially with the Industrial Revolution uh, coming around very shortly. Um, also, too, Great Depression and uh, in Washington, D.C., troops dispersed the last of the bonus armies. So, like I said, that armies were still there of World War One troops here a day later. And uh, the D.C. troops, they continued to go out and disperse this army. Uh, it just uh, really was a sad day in American history, to be honest with you. So, hey, with that sadness, remember the goodness. We've got one more day, and we're out this week. So, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. You guys have a good one. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. So it is Thursday, gonna have a great day. 10.30, we got ladder ball competition between myself and Clayton. I didn't have to practice too much because I'm a pretty accomplished ladder ball player, if I do say so myself. So I didn't have to practice much. I don't need to you know, get warmed up. I don't have to do any of that stuff. I just, I can just show up and play and play well. And I'm pretty confident in my abilities. I'm sure Clayton is too, after that win in horseshoes. I'm sure he thinks he's got it in the bag and probably not doing much practicing or getting ready himself. So we'll see how this competition goes. That's 10.30 Facebook Live, one o'clock cooking, where Gabrielle's gonna make something tasty that I'm sure I'll probably screw up and fail at getting to taste. I don't know how that works out, it just does, and I move on and I wait for next time. So that is it for Thursday, you guys. Have a great day, enjoy all your Zooms. We will see you tomorrow, Friday, for some Insta Live Insta Trivia and the morning routine. For the morning routine, take care everybody.